this idea of the immortality of the soul came from Greeks and different religions, but you know, God put eternal the the idea, the conception of eternity in, into our hearts and into our minds. So because we were created in the image of God, who lives forever, that's why that's one of the reasons why a lot of people think that they were going, they're going to live forever. You know, they cannot die. And because God put this hope into us, this this conception, He is He does make it possible that we we will never die. And um, but uh, that's that's why Jesus said, "All those in the tomb shall come forth." Those who do, did good unto a resurrection of life, and those who practice vile things unto a resurrection of judgment. You know, will it, will can they change? We're going to find out because Jesus died for them. He's going to give them every opportunity to li- have everlasting life. His his, his uh, 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 the price was uh, at great expense to him. The suffering that he went through, and even felt that God had forsaken him. You know, in the song, "My God, My God, why hast thou forsaken me?" That was the, the hardness of what he went through. You know, but he proved himself faithful. And he was given immortality. In, uh, t- uh, in uh, Timothy, it says, He alone has immortality. The, 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 the only ho- potentate, the king of kings, the lord of lords, who alone has immortality. See, the, the, the first resurrection of all the, the 144,000 of his the kings and priests that will rule with him, they have not been resurrected yet. That will happen uh, after the tribulation. So uh, at this point, right now, Jesus Christ is the only one that has, that has received immortality of the Father. That means that you cannot live forever, uh, not in hell or anywhere else. You know, it's so absurd. Where did, where did Adam go if, uh, if uh, the soul is immortal? God says where he went. He went back to the dust. But the devil will tell you he, he, he's still living somewhere. And that's what the, 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 the false religious Christians will tell you also. And they don't know. They don't know God. You know, that's why God's name has to be hallowed. Hallowed be thy name. Let it be made known what is your, 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 the, the beauty and the perfection of your truth. It is so good and so just, you know. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So where would the justice be to torture somebody forever? Did they torture somebody forever so that they would have to be... T- I mean, it's just totally... It makes no sense. It's making God out to be something satanic. That's devil's trick. And it has led a lot of people away from God. And uh, now, these days, you know, with the young people, they have... The, the, the young people... Uh, uh, now is the marijuana harvest season, so I'm talking to all these people that are coming around to harvest marijuana and things, you know. And I couldn't believe it, because we as a kid, we weren't deceived like they are, but they're totally deceived. Man. They don't want to hear about God. They come out violently against it. They think gays are okay, you know, and everything. I mean, they're just, how could they be smoking all that marijuana and still not know the basic truth of how brainwashed they are? I don't know. But, um... Uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, what I was saying about all those, uh, those, uh, uh, those people, I pray for them, you know, and I'm try I try to help them, but they don't realize how brainwashed they are, that's why they don't have joy, you know, they were brought up by the people of my generation, that I was separated from, that separated themselves from everything that was cool that was going on in the 60s, you know, all the enlightenment, there was really a lot of good things happening back then, but not everybody went that far, most of them went with the system, you know, because they got married, they want to have a family, and they sold their souls to make money, you know, and they started out idealistic and just threw it out for the money, and all those people that were really idealistic, they all got shot and killed, you know, and those people that got married and stuff, they just uh, uh, brought up kids and they accepted all the garbage that they were taught, you know. All this gay stuff and all the rest of it. They lost God and everything. And they taught their children that trash. So they didn't have anybody to teach them. So I'm trying to teach them, you know. I'm the, I'm the one who escaped from your parents selling out. And I'm trying to teach you the truth now. Something that Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix was going to make an electric church. Man, he was a Christian. All the great, all the great artists were Christians. That's where all the gospel music came from, the church. They all thank God when they got their awards, you know. Uh, 
Michael Jackson was a great was a great believer in God. Came from a, a Christian background. Prince, I mean, Little Richard, he he quit music to become a preacher. You know, and not of all, all of them have uh, complete knowledge, but they know enough about good things about God that they know that's the way. You know, and um. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, uh, um, yeah, so the 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 immortality of the soul—that's a great uh, lie, you know. And that's why they believe in hellfire and all that garbage. Uh, Gehenna was a garbage dump outside Jerusalem, where they threw the dead bodies of criminals and all that. So there is no more uh, immortality of the soul. The Bible not, doesn't even mention that. In fact, if, there were, if such a thing was true, then why did Christ die that we could have eternal life? He says, he that believeth in me hath eternal life, but he that believeth not shall perish. He didn't say be tortured, perish. What does perish mean? When you got a fruit that gets rotten, it perishes. What does that mean? It turns into, it rots and it goes back to the earth. That's what perish means. Jesus Christ said, I didn't come to con con condemn men, but to save them. But men have chosen chosen the darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And they didn't want their deeds exposed. So they ran away from the light. And those that are really guilty and with Satan, they hate the light. And they persecute the light. And they, I don't know what they think they're going to get from Satan, but Satan's a liar, man. He's not going to give you nothing. Can't give you eternal life, nothing. Good. So, uh, yeah, um, what else was it? Yeah, it said something else. Yeah, so, so, uh, yeah, the, the, the soul is not immortal. It, it, it's, uh, uh, God created man at, with us as a soul. They are souls. We are all souls, means a, the person, you. That's it, that's the soul. And uh, whatever, whatever the angels are, their souls too. You know, even even God says the animals are souls. When He counts the different animals, you know, uh, He calls them souls in the Bible. And if you, if you go back to the Hebrew, if it's not in the King James, you go back to the Hebrew. It's right in there. They're they're called souls too. They're uh, beings, you know, entities, or persons, you know, whatever. So uh, if anybody has a question about that, you know, um, bye bye. Ask me. I, I want to be able to answer them as, as plainly as I can. But it's nowhere in the Bible that those, those uh, false teachings. Uh, God is 100% uh, makes sense. You know, in Isaiah says, come and let us reason together. You know, God is a great reasoner. He doesn't want you to believe in something that doesn't make sense and tell you that's what means you have to have faith. That you have to believe in 2 plus 2 equals 5. five or, that's not faith. That's stupidity. God is very reasonable. He created you with a mind. That's why he says you must love the Lord God, Jehovah your God, with all your heart, your soul, your strength, and your mind. He created us with a mind for a reason. We're creating the image of God. Don't leave that out. Where Everything is reasonable with God. We don't understand everything he does. We don't know how he created things. We don't know how Jesus did the miracles. Because we don't have access to that realm or to that information, but with that we need we 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 have faith in you know. But um, for the things that we can understand, like one and one is two, or is one and one three? You know, no, God is not reasonable. I mean, God is reasonable; he's not unreasonable. So, um, yeah, thank you, Good Witch, for letting me know about that. And uh, I think I got the voice back now. So, take care now.